Hi, uh, my name is Yusuke Narita. Uh, I'm going to explain about my Max MSB patch uh, called Bass Synthesizer. Here's a uh, just regular bass sound. And um, so first of all, this is a filter gate. Okay, so if you do like this, it's only here. You only hear bass sound, and or if you do like this, you only hear higher sound, higher frequencies. Okay, and the next one is ring modulator. So you hear the uh, difference, right? So um, you can also change this, like the waveform, like a square wave or reverse sawtooth or something like that. And you also can change, can also change this synthesizer frequencies and also the ratio of the synthesizer. Is it a hundred percent? And also use a zero percent. Okay. Next one is October, and then currently it's uh, set it as harmonizer. You can change to the lower octave or higher octave, and you also can change the ratio. Here's nothing. Here's octaves. So um, dual it as like it's superimposing lower octave and a higher octave of the original sound. And then harmonize means like lower octave and high octave, and then fifth uh, above uh, sound of uh, original sound. Next one is overdrive. It's just basic overdrive. This. Okay, get your delicious and the volumes. Oops, sorry. Okay. And the next one is aliasing. So aliasing does it's kind of inducing the higher free, um, the aliasing sound. So you kind of hear the like metric sound, you know. And you also can change the cutoff frequencies. Okay. Next one is uh, ADSL noise generator. So noise generator is like so. If the original sound uh, exceed a certain uh, threshold, then noise triggered. So you can like, uh, change the threshold by like, highlighting this um, scope. And you hear the noise, right? And then you can change attack sound like lower attack, then lower release, something like that. Okay. And the next one is uh, oops, Ooh. wobble. So wobble is just. Um, the bandpass filter, the center frequency is moving around, so you can change the ratio of the bandpass filter. Okay, I'm gonna change this Q. Just the ratio, if ratio is higher, then the bandpass moves faster, and if it's lower, then bandpass moves slower. And you also can change the uh, frequency by uh, late, late by. Um, Oat means like if higher amplitude, then the um, send the rate is higher, and then lower amplitude, then uh, light is slower. And then you can change the. I'm gonna make it a fixed rate. And then here's the center frequency. Here's a lower center frequency or higher center frequency. Also, you can change the depth. Depth like this or like this. So lower depth then doesn't move a lot. And then you can change the uh, shape of the filters too. This. Okay. Next one is a sampler. Okay. So uh, the first of all, okay. <laughs> 
here's the threshold. It's the same with the noise generator that it has a certain threshold, then the amp amplitude exceeds the threshold, then um, the sound file kicks in. And then sound file I'm using is saying cool man. Cool man. Okay. And then like I can make it faster like a chipmunk or lower like this. And also, you can make this like you can use this as like a vocoder. So, for example, uh, this is connected to the MIDI controller. So, if you play like C, you hear this like different. It's a C chord, a G chord. Okay, maybe a more song. This. Oops, it's too much. So if you press this key to play, then although you don't have input, but still play like this. Okay. And or you have here's a, a function called move to play. So currently connected, uh, this thing is connected to. This patch is connected to my uh, camera implemented in my PC, and then basically if I move, sound is triggered, of course, and then I can change this to like, oh, oops, <laughs> the volume is too low, oops, that's too high. Yeah, like this. Stop, nothing. Pray. That's not like this movement. I have to do it like this. Okay, that's a sampler. And uh, this is also had a delay function. So each effector has a delay knob, so you can just say this is like no delay and then 100% delay. If you press this, I think you hear the delay sound, okay? And here's a chaos button, and so the duration of the delay moves around. Cool. And then this also has the uh, circular pan. So I think if you're hearing with the headphones, you hear like the sound is moving around. Or if you play this in like a, a quadratic environment, the sound moves around in these four speakers. And then this one also have the spot tool. So it's kind of a very rich reverb created by Ilcom. So this one, this is the uh, sampler for this patch. Oh, I have to explain about the um, orders of the vectors. For example, like if you want to play Dream Modulator, and then Wobble, and then October. But if you want to put the Wobble in the first effect path, you can just press this button. Just press 1, and the Wobble moves to the first one. And then Ring October moves to the sixth one. And then you can press two. And then you see here Wobble, Ring Modulator, and October. And if you want to play, maybe you change your mind. And if you want to bring the October to the first one, then just press one. And then like this October, Ring Modulator, and Wobble. And if you want to move the Wobble to the second one, then just press two. And then it moves the, the orders, moves around. Okay? And also, uh, this has a, a recording function. So if you find something good sound, then you can record if you have more volume. Oops. Okay. And then if you highlight this, you play the sound without input like this. You can change the the chunk all the time. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you very much. Bye.